Pharmacopal. Pharmacoepidemiology, real-world drug effects and your health. Hey everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that sits at the intersection of pharmacology and public health, pharmacoepidemiology. So, grab a comfy seat, and let's unpack this essential field together. First things first, what exactly is pharmacoepidemiology? Well, it's a branch of epidemiology that focuses on the effects and uses of drugs in large populations. Think of it as the study of how medications impact health outcomes on a community or population level. It helps us understand the benefits and risks of medications, guiding better clinical decisions and health policies. Now, let's break down some key terminologies you'll often hear in this field. 1. Pharmacovigilance. This is all about monitoring the safety of medications once they're on the market. It involves tracking adverse drug reactions those unwanted effects that can happen when taking a medication. By identifying these risks early, we can improve patient safety. 2. Drug Utilization Studies These studies look at how medications are prescribed and used in real-world settings. They help us understand patterns of drug use, which can reveal important insights about prescribing practices and patient adherence. 3. Cohort Studies In pharmacoepidemiology, we often use cohort studies to follow groups of people who are exposed to a certain drug and compare them to those who aren't. This helps us see the long-term effects of medications. 4. Case Control Studies This type of study compares individuals with a specific outcome, like a side effect or a disease, to those without it. It's a great way to identify potential associations between drug exposure and health outcomes. So, why is pharmacoepidemiology so important? Well, it helps us answer critical questions like Are certain medications more effective in specific populations? What are the long-term effects of a drug? How can we minimize adverse drug reactions? By answering these questions, we can tailor treatments to better suit individual needs, ultimately improving patient care and health outcomes. Let's look at a couple of real-world examples. Take the case of proton pump inhibitors (PPIs). Pharmacoepidemiology studies have shown that long-term use of these medications can lead to serious side effects like chronic kidney disease. By understanding these risks, healthcare providers can make more informed decisions about prescribing them. Another example is the use of warfarin, a common blood thinner. Pharmacoepidemiological research has highlighted the importance of genetic factors in how patients respond to warfarin. This knowledge allows for personalized dosing, reducing the risk of complications. As we look to the future, the integration of big data and advanced analytics will revolutionize pharmacoepidemiology. With access to vast amounts of health data, researchers can uncover patterns and insights that were previously impossible to detect. This will lead to even safer and more effective medication use. And there you have it. Pharmacoepidemiology is a crucial field that helps us understand the real-world impact of medications on public health. By studying drug utilization, safety, and effectiveness, we can enhance patient care and improve health outcomes for everyone. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content on health and medicine. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.